Neue Sude müssen in die richtigen Tanks New Brewing Badges must be pumped into the right tanks and without material mixing. Braumat's root control option performs these and other navigation tasks. The automatic navigation of the valuable barley juice relieves the brewer in his daily work considerably and operating errors are almost impossible. The control of the pipe cleaning via SIP is also one of the tasks of the root control option. My colleague Horst Fuchs will now show you in detail how root control works. Thank you, Jürgen. So, let's take a look at the root control function. Root control is a standalone option package within the system with its own license. If we look back on our complex tank farm, we won't control it with the bit field like before, but will now use root control. What is root control? It's your navigation system within the brewery. It also works in a similar way, with the same algorithms, to your car's navigation system. You enter a source, a starting point and an end point. And root control calculates one or several possible routes, transfer routes, through the brewery, depending on how you prepared them in the configuration. There is also a runtime tool in which we can now also manually pre-select a route. In other words, there is a list from a correspondingly large number of sources. Let's take the word line again, which is the arrow at this point. I select one of the 12 tanks as the destination. In this case, I select tank number 12. I now make a root request, which is just like the root calculation. In my configuration, I find a prepared root. In other words, before I can do that, it has to have been prepared in an engineering tool. This is root control engineering, in which I start by making the appropriate preparations for individual control. Which valves and motors I want to address with root control which full signal probes, empty signal probes, binary attributes. There are also parameter elements for exchanging certain analog values. For example, an analog value in this case is also a tank status, which I can also link with the tank object later, and so on. Link elements. In the link elements, I store the materials. This also makes a material check possible in root control. I then define the so-called partial routes. A partial route can also be a complete route, in other words, from a word line to a specific tank. To keep it simple, we have chosen this solution. This means that for each transfer combination to a tank, there is a corresponding configuration as a partial route, and this is where the control elements are provided with their controls. So with root control, rather than specific activation in the AS with regard to control modules, there is always a mode table. In the mode table, I define functions. What I want to do is open a drain valve, open a tank, transfer and so on. And this is exactly what I will also control later in the recipe and automatic mode. So as I said, let's take a closer look at that. I have made the root request. The root looks fine. I start the transfer. But without having pre-selected a mode. So we see that nothing happens in the process image. The first mode you have to activate is the base position mode. This checks whether all control elements are in the right position. In other words, off. Then you can successively activate the corresponding modes. We now see that the control modules are activated accordingly. In this case, the A means active control with query. 
Of course, root control also assumes the whole interlocking process. Whenever anything goes wrong in the root selection or root calculation, root control will detect it. Here, for instance, I have a query about closed drain valve. Of course, if I make a transfer to the tank, I don't want the drain valve to be open at the same time. I do that this time anyway, so I activate the valve manually. We see that root control detects it, records the error and after I set monitoring time, root control responds with a corresponding fault time error. This means that it notices that something in the control is wrong. The same would happen with a parameter error, material error or an overlapping root if I don't want that. We reverse the error, acknowledge it accordingly, and the transfer is reactivated. Of course, one thing is still missing. We always activate the pump at the end to initiate the transfer and we move the material into the tank accordingly. So this more or less replaces the bit field in the session in which we explained the tank farm. And how does this all look in automatic mode, in combination with the recipe system? Of course, there will be a recipe that looks similar like the previous one. We start by checking the material and destination. In the recipe step, I'll open this FC1692 here. We can see that we're not activating any more control modules in the steps. We do not carry out a CA flag control but rather activate modes on current root and root control then assumes the actual control of the valves and motors. In other words, if we start a recipe, and we can also do this in the unit control view, the recipe will start. We specify a material. Pilsner no word. A material check is carried out. We specify a destination. This destination and origin are now used as parameters for root control, as the starting point for root calculation. These are parameters that I now enter here and then the modes are switched on or off in the function blocks as required. You can carry out the entire transfer again with the corresponding control of valves and motors. Everything else works as before. Using parameter elements within root control, I will forward this information concerning status, quantity and material to the corresponding tag objects via appropriate multiplexers. Of course, all of this already works in an S7-1500. We have now also activated root control here. Mixed operation would also work, in other words, between different controllers. Here I also have a root for the PCU5. Origin, destination. I control the modes and can make transfers here depending on the selection. So, as we have seen, root control takes care of the entire root search for you, activates control elements and also the entire error handling process within such a complex transfer task. Thank you. Siemens. Ingenuity for life.